Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's the Bosch dishwasher. How to remove the filter, give it a good clean, and then we'll also check the impeller, the propeller, which actually pumps out the water. Make sure there's no debris in there. Right, let's get cracking. The first thing you need to do is switch it off at the mains and unplug the dishwasher plug. And you're probably going to need your partner's toothbrush for cleaning. Lurgs! Have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the dishwasher? Um, no. This is the Bosch dishwasher here, so just open up the front door. First thing you need to do is remove the bottom basket. This literally just rolls out. And you can also remove the top basket if you want to. You don't have to do this, but it'll just make it a bit easier for the access to the filter. This literally just lifts up and off. And there's a link above now about how to adjust the basket height on this Bosch dishwasher. Okay, so the filter is here. And when these two arrows are lined up, that means that it's locked into position. Now to remove the filter, you literally just turn it anti-clockwise about 90 degrees. And then you just lift it upwards. Now, depending on how clean your dishes are when you put them in the dishwasher, depends how dirty this filter is. Now, we're pretty careful with our dishwasher, but that is pretty disgusting. Now, if you don't clean off your dishes before you put them in, this will get clogged up on a weekly basis. Now, this filter element just literally just pops off. This makes it a little bit easier just to give it a good clean. Now, don't clean it straight into the sink. Otherwise, you'll be watching a video on how to unblock your sink. So take your partner's toothbrush and just get off as much dirt and debris and put that straight in the rubbish bin. Likewise, with the cover here, just get as much of that off as you can. This is just general grease and fat, pretty disgusting. Then fill up your sink with some hot soapy water. Again, take your partner's toothbrush and just give this a really good scrub so it's coming out sparkling clean. Now I don't need to show you all this footage, so I'll just cut this footage short, but you're basically just making sure that this is in tip top condition before we put it back. Now before we put it back, we're going to check the impeller just to make sure that that isn't blocked. Now this filter just literally just pushes back on and there we go, it's in position. Now before we put that back in, we're just going to check the impeller. So take an old sponge and just get rid of any excess water inside here and just squeeze that into a bucket. While I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to add salt to this Bosch dishwasher. It's really important to add salt if you live in a hard water area. So just drain that out completely as much as you can. And then to get to the impeller or propeller, you just need to remove this plastic clip here. So just take a blunt instrument, don't take anything sharp. I've just got this teaspoon here. And what you're doing is you're gently prising it outwards until that clip comes out. And then you can just lift it upwards and outwards. And then we should be able to see the impeller slash propeller. And there it is at the bottom. Now the prime suspect for blockages in here is broken bits of china, bits of glass or sweet corn and bits of food. Now this one is actually pretty good, but here's another one from another dishwasher that I serviced. And you can see here it's got bits of hair in it and an old raisin. So I've just got my partner's, I think they're eyebrow clippers or eyebrow removers. I don't know what they are. <laughs> anyway, I'm just using those to get out any bits of debris. If you can't get access to any of the debris, try just getting rid of as much water as you can so it's nice and dry. And then just get your vacuum cleaner nozzle and just use that. Don't forget to put your partner's eyebrow remover eyelash remover things back whatever they're called now to put this clip back in it literally just slides down and then just pops in whilst i'm doing that there's a link above now about how to add rinse aid to your bosch dishwasher that will keep your glasses and plates sparkling clean right we can now put the filter back in don't try and force this this should just lay in very easily there we go. 
and then to lock it in just turn it clockwise about 90 degrees until those arrows line up that is all nicely locked in fabulous and there's a link above now about how to keep your Bosch dishwasher hygienically fresh and then don't forget to put your partner's toothbrush back and hope they don't notice then we can put the trays back in and we're ready to use the dishwasher again just going to put the top basket back on and then I think it's definitely time for a cup of tea oh If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.